Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll cover how to manage enrollment applications. When an application is started and in the process of being filled out by a family, it will appear in the workflow tab in Enroll Me. There, administrators will be able to monitor the progress of the applications and, after they're submitted, review the submitted applications to decide on whether to approve the student's application or not. Once approved, the information in the student's application can then be imported into Gradelink for the upcoming school year. Administrators can manage applications that show up in Enroll Me in the Workflow tab. The Applications list displays all the applications the school has received or that parents have started and are currently working through. The list of applications can be sorted by session using the drop-down menu at the top of the list where you can also view applications submitted in past academic years, or by name and status using the search fields located above the list of applications. In addition to noting whether the application is for a new enrollment or a re-enrollment, the list also notes the current status of the application as well as whether or not the information in an application has been imported into the Students tab of Gradelink. The form status shows what stage in the enrollment process a particular application is in. Started means the form was started by a parent and is in the process of being completed. Please note that this is the only status where the form can still be edited. Submitted means the parent has filled out all the required fields and submitted the application. It is at that point that the application is ready to be reviewed by the school. Approved means the application has been accepted and the student's data is ready to be imported into the student's tab in Gradelink. Once a student's application has been submitted to the school, the school will then be able to review the contents of the application to decide whether to accept the student into the school or not. Click the Enroll Me tab on the left sidebar, select a student from the list of student applications in Enroll Me, and note that a selected application will be highlighted in yellow. Click the Online Forms sub-tab at the top of the page. Click through each of the tabs that are part of the application to see the information that the parents or guardians have provided about the student. Once the application has been reviewed, the school can then decide how to move forward with the application. Click the Workflow sub-tab at the top of the page. Click the Form Status drop-down menu and change the status to one of the available options. Information in an application cannot be edited once it has been submitted to the school. If the school or a parent would like to edit any of the information on a particular application, the status will need to be changed from submitted or any other status that is not started to started. Click the Enroll Me tab on the left sidebar, select the student application that you need to have edits made for, and under the Workflow sub-tab, change the form status from its current status to Started. At this point, if the school is not making the changes on the application, you will need to notify the parent that their student's application is ready to be edited, as they will not be notified automatically. If the school is making the edits on the application, you will need to proceed to the following steps. Click the Online Form sub-tab at the top of the page. Make sure the checkbox at the top of the page, which reads, this form has not been completed and submitted online, you may click here to enter it manually, is selected. Navigate to the page in the application that needs to be edited by clicking the continue button at the bottom right hand side of the page until you get to the desired page. Once you have made the changes, click the continue button at the bottom of the page to save that change to that part of the application. Once you are done making changes, click the Workflow tab at the top of the page, change the form status back to Submitted, and at this point, you can either set another form status to the application or change it to Approved in order to import the information. Please note that if the parent is making the changes to the application, they will need to resubmit their application. Please also keep in mind that if the form status was previously set to approved, you ha will have to change the application status back to approved once the new information in the application has been reviewed. If you make changes to an application that has already been imported, 
those changes will not automatically take effect. Instead, you will need to re-import that application. Thank you for joining us for this lesson and stay tuned to learn how to import information from Enrollme.